Hello my unique queens, Kiana Unique here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a basketball purse. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need a basketball, of course. You're going to need a 14 inch zipper, some E6000 glue, some clamps to hold it down, a X-Acto knife, a 20 inch chain, and maybe a strap if you like that, and some um, snap tape. With all of this, we're going to create this basketball purse. Now, of course, the basketball I have here, I got from my local Walmart. It is an and one basketball, and I am simply finding where I want my purse to open up. So, as you can see, I have found it, and I'm just going to take my crafting knife and bust right through that bad boy. And let me tell you, that was actually satisfying to hear it pop in the air come out. <laughs> but that's a whole other story. Okay, so I am being very careful because these knives are very sharp and I am just going to cut right along that line. It's a great thing that basketballs have a line so that way you don't have to worry about things being crooked. Now I'm taking my 14 inch zipper and making sure that I make my line long enough, my opening wide enough and so I'm going to make sure I cut this open just to fit that zipper and then I am going to make it wide enough Once you have the hole open enough to your liking, you're going to take the E6000 glue so we can put down our zipper. Now I am going to use this a little bit at a time because E6000 glue, you want to make sure that you get it right because once it starts sticking, it is hard to get it off. So you want to make sure that your zipper is completely unzipped. I have mine where it's not detached. You can detach it and that way you're working with one side at a time. But I decided to leave mine zipped together. But you're going to press it down and you want to make sure that your zipper teeth are nowhere near the basketball itself. So that way your zipper will not have any problems zipping up. And then once you have it in place where you would like it, this is where those clips come in handy. So I definitely recommend that you have some of these to do this project because it's going to hold it in place while the glue dries. Now if you don't have these, you can work in a method where you use hot glue and E6000 glue because the hot glue is going to dry faster and it will hold it into place while the E6000 glue really gives you that durable hold. Also, I got all of my items from my local Walmart and this bag is going to be well under $30 to make. <laughs> You want to make 
sure you secure both sides and allow it to dry before you take your clamps off. Now I am going to work with my snap tape. I simply cut off two pieces of snap tape and I'm using my E6000 glue to secure them together. And I'm going to use these to hold on my chain strap and my strap to go on my shoulder. Once I have that, I apply some E6000 glue to the ball itself and pressed it down. Now this is going to be an all no sew method and then at the end of the video I will show you also if you want to reinforce with some sewing um, what you can do because I'm not sure how strong or how heavy the ball will be with our things inside of it but um, definitely this is one way you can do it now that it has dried I am going to add my chain and like I said at the beginning of the video this chain is 20 inches long I got it from Walmart in the jewelry section and I thought it was a nice addition and then this strap I just grabbed it off of a small purse that I had and now here is the pack of home craft needles that I got from Walmart and I am using the number five leather needle to sew a couple stitches into the ball. Now this is optional. I just wanted to make sure that everything is going to stay together, that I'm not going to be wearing my purse and it's going to fall apart. And so I simply took some regular thread, but you can also get some thicker upholstery thread and an upholstery needle to work with this as well if you would like. But I'm using a pair of pliers to help me push and guide the needle through and I've already went through once but I wanted to make sure I showed you guys what I was doing and so I simply pushed it through and I'm just going to hand sew a couple stitches in place wherever I think I need it to keep the pieces in place. So I'm going to do each parts for the strap and I'm also going to tack a couple of pieces on my zipper especially on the sides where you see the zipper sticking out. I'm going to make sure that I um, sew a couple pieces there so that way it keeps the zipper down and attached to the ball as well. Once I reinforce this, she is all ready to rock and roll and I absolutely love this bag. I am going to be rocking this with anything and everything that is black and red. And y'all don't judge me right now. I have on a football shirt with a basketball. But hey, that was the only thing I could find at the moment that was black and red. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, you guys, be unique. See you next week. Thank mm -hmm. you.